to share with you how you can manipulate using the data, transform and analyze. Okay. The first step that I want you to understand is EDA. EDA is what? EDA stands for Exploratory Data Analysis. Eh? EDA, Exploratory Data Analysis. So we are going to explore our data, especially in terms of the frequency and also the percentage for nominal data. Nominal data ataupun the completeness of data. We want to know whether there is a missing value or there is no missing values. Okay, let us run together-together. How you want to know whether you have missing value or not? You can just click here. Analyze descriptive frequency. Okay, I made a repetition. Analyze descriptive frequency. This is the first step for you to identify the missing cases. Okay, the first one is you need to know where is your cases. Whether your cases is sufficient, not sufficient, complete, incomplete, logic or not logic. So to begin with, you just click analyze, descriptive and frequency. In the SPSS, it's a very simple manner for you to manipulate any data because you can just drop it inside the variable box. You can uh, use the arrow button or you can do elsewhere. Okay, in this case, I'm going to put any variables inside the variable box because I want to know the numbers, whether there is a missing values or not. So, you can do like this. This one, we call it as the uncharted version one. The most charted one is actually you just click here, you push the shift button, and then you click everything of it, and then you can proceed click the arrow. Or you can drag it. Uh, the latest version you can do like this eh? the older version like the SPSS 13 and below perhaps you cannot do much uh, you can just do one by one like a like a hell okay now you can see there is a ID age race uh, gender and IQ correct now please click OK button after you click the OK button the statistic table like this will appear this one is very useful to tell you whether there is a missing values or not. Is there any missing values? No. Very good. That means our data is perfect. That's all. And then you can use the frequency table given by the SPSS to identify the age, gender, races, the frequency of the distribution. For example, if I want to ask you the age of the respondent, what is the mode of the respondent? <coughs> Pandai. Very good. 25 is the mode because this one is the most frequently reported by our data. Understand or not? So this is what we call it as the screening protocol or EDA, Exploratory Data Analysis. You want to explore your data. And then we got here gender. You can see here gender male and female are equally distributed same right male five uh, female five or so this one is about the race and then this is about the iq okay so far so good eh so far so good or not so good ah huh? so good ah huh? okay after that after you finish doing something on your analysis then you can go back analyze descriptive frequency and then you can reset it you can reset it and then you click cancel why I reset? Just to share with you so that you don't get multiple jumbling around analysis that you do not know what is that happening in my computer. So the best thing to do is to reset after you finish your him. Him, him, him. him. Clue uh, how to speed up the process. Okay, so now I'm going to close this one and then I'm going to analyze also and I'm going to share with you about the difference between the frequency and descriptive. Okay, listen very carefully. If your data is not uh, numeric data, it's not numeric, eh? it's not numeric, just focus on the frequency. Because that is only thing that you can do. Correct or not? You can only report the frequency and percentage. And therefore, for example, I want to analyze the uh, races and gender. So I'm going to click analyze. I'm going to click here analyze descriptive and frequency and therefore I'm going to put the the bullet bullet one the nominal data only. For your information in this uh, first box you can right click you right click here you push the display variable name so it will show only variable name. 
Sometimes you put your name so long ah, until you also do not know what is that hell. Ah. So therefore, you want to make it shorten, you can just ask the computer to display the variable name. And then you know already because the X2 and X3 is the categorical. Correct or not? And therefore, you just click the cerdik version 1 and then you drag it. You know, say it. You know, say it. Say it is drag lah. Tarik. Say it. What else? Uh, say it. Tarik. Uh, Bertempio. Gitulah lebih kurang bunyi dia. And after that, you click OK. Eh? After you click OK, immediately the computer uh, are going to give you the answer, you know. And this is what you are talking about lah. So, you, we have the tabulations of male and female uh, as follows. We have the races are being tabulated as follows and so on and so forth. So, finish lah. That's all you can do. You cannot calculate the mean of male and female. It's not correct. Am I true? Because male and female does not have any numeric value. You just put the value because you just want to put. Okay, understand? The next trick or the next hint that I want to share with you is if your data is numeric. If your data is numeric, then you can use both. You can use both. You can use frequency. You can use descriptive. Which one you want to use? Up to you. If you want more detail, use the frequency. If you want more simplified, use descriptive. I make a repetition. Eh? If you want to analyze your numeric data, for example, our numeric data will be X1 and Y. Correct or not? X1 is what? H. Y is IQ. If you want to analyze numeric data, you can analyze either one. Is either you want to use this one, we are talking about descriptive statistic, eh? which is the mean, mode, median, uh, all these things. Descriptive statistic, you can choose either frequency or descriptive. The most advanced or the most comprehensive is the frequency. The most simpler is the descriptive. Up to you. I choose, I took one example. Eh? Let's say you want to analyze only for mean mode median. You can just analyze descriptive, descriptive. Analyze, descriptive, descriptive. Try to do it. Analyze, descriptive, descriptive. Okay. Analyze, descriptive, descriptive. And then please put your H and IQ only inside the variable box. Okay. Finish already. And after that, you need to put the you need to push the OK button. Automatically, the computer are going to give you some summary in terms of the minimum, maximum, mid, and standard deviation. Correct? In a just a split second. Unfortunately, you want to know more because you are somebody who are enthusiastic with your data. So now you are going to use the other method, which is analyze descriptive frequency. Okay, I'm a repetition. You want to know more about your data. Analyze, descriptive, frequency. And now you click the reset button. Put your new variables name as H and IQ. And then, and then, this is the story begin. You can click the statistic and then you can request accordingly what you want. If you can see here, we got a measure of the central tendency in this box. You got the percentile here in this box. You got this person here in this box. You got this box for distribution. So if you want to know more and to learn more about your data, you can click everything. But you must know how to interpret lah. Uh, understand or not? In this case, I'm I might want to be interested to know about the mean, mode, median, standard deviation, skewness, and kurtosis only. Why? Because this is what I want to justify whether the data is normal or not. And then I'm going to click continue. Okay, did you follow? I made a repetition. You click analyze, descriptive, frequency. And then you put the H and also IQ. And then you are going to click the statistic radio button. You are going to request the MCT. You are going to request the dispersion. You are going to request the quartile. You are going to request the skewness and kurtosis because you want to know their tabulation. And then you want to make some interpretation whether the data is normal or not normal. And then you can click continue button and then you click OK. Automatically, the computer are going to give you this kind of summary. Come out or not come out? Uh, come out. So after it come out from your table, then you can make interpretation. Lah. Our mean is 25. Our median is 25. Our mode is 25. So let us look into the skewness. Our skewness is 1.9. Our standard error of skewness is 0 0.6. So 0 0.687 times by 2 is equivalent to 1.2 something. So this data 
are being considered as not normal. Tak normal eh, macam tak normal. Tapi kalau kita tengok IQ, IQ macam normal sebab dia 0.870.687 times by 2, you got 1.2 something is more than our this one. It's more than our skewness uh, data lah. So to learn more about the normality, then we use the other method. This one is just for screening. Okay, so far so good or not so good lah? So good lah? You got it or you don't got it? Okay, never mind. You can just make a repetition over and over again. Okay? 